you guys saw the title. You guys saw what happened tonight. The Suns beat the Lakers in game six and are moving on to the NBA playoffs second round and the Lakers are going home, marking LeBron James' first ever playoff series loss in the first round. Let's talk about it. If you guys enjoy the content, of course, leave a like, subscribe if you're new and enjoy and send the NBA content. Share it with your friends who love NBA content. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The Lakers, man. Before I, matter of fact, let's talk about the Suns real quick and give them their credit. Devin Booker with 47 points, went off today, had 33 points at half. Devin Booker came out on the mission, said, you know what? We're going to end this series in L.A. We're not going back to Phoenix. We got stuff to do. We got other plans. He did what he had to do as a as a star player for the Phoenix Suns. He did what he had to do. A, uh, not AD. Ayton, CP3, those, those, everyone on the Phoenix Suns roster came into this game on a mission to end this series. And I'll give them their credit. This was a game where they just understood what was at hand. From the very jump, they were on, on the Lakers' necks. Jay Crowder, six for nine from three. Game three, he was the joke of the town, getting spin reverse laid on, and he has proven a lot of guys wrong and has proven that he is also a great, exceptional role player for this team. I got to give him his credit as well. Monty Williams has had a great defensive plan to stop LeBron and make it hard for him, and it's pretty simple. Pack the paint. Make it hard for LeBron to get into the, where he like, get into the paint where he likes to operate, and it's just it's it's a it's a great defensive plan and it makes lebron's others his uh his teammates have to beat the suns and as you can see they couldn't do that so again the suns played a great basketball game uh i believe the suns versus nuggets series is going to be very entertaining it's going to be interesting we're going to talk about that sooner or later but let's talk about the lakers ahead that's what i want to hear about oh man let's talk about it so the lakers down horrible in the first half and in the second half it looked like they were they were making some strides to actually Make it a close game. Make it a, a close game. Maybe push it into single digits. But every single time, maybe LeBron wouldn't be as aggressive at one play or LeBron would be on the bench. The game, the, the Suns would just go on a little run or shoot, a, a, make a three or just find something to go ahead and suck the life out of the Lakers run that they were on. And it's a tough, it's so tough because Anthony Davis, he tried to play this game today and I'll give him his credit. I, I, I want to give props to Anthony Davis just for trying to play because he's gotten so much flack from media such as Charles Barkley who has made fun of him for not for being injured and then today Charles Barkley was like you know what why is he even playing well that's kind of stupid Charles because you did tell that guy that he's Anthony Street Close Davis and the day he wants to play you want to act like he doesn't like he shouldn't be on the court it doesn't make any sense to me but props to Anthony Davis he couldn't perform he couldn't perform though he couldn't play he was there for like a few minutes but within the first few possessions it was clear that Anthony Davis is not healthy he can't give us anything and it was just tough again. And LeBron, LeBron in that second half, he was more aggressive. He looked like the LeBron we remember in 2018, but that's LeBron three years ago. This is a guy who's hobbled with an ankle injury. This is it's, it's, it's just a different time, man. It's a different time. And I think a lot of people who are LeBron fans or Laker fans, you just got to understand that this guy's 36. We're asking a lot from a guy who's 36, even though we do respect him as one of the best players of all time. We got to be understandable here. Like this, it's almost impossible to beat a team of the sun's caliber when they're clicking on every asset of the game on defense on shooting and playmaking and your team isn't able to shoot the ball well and i want to talk about that real quick because i feel like the lakers even from the 2020 run when they were when they won the championship in 2020 three-point shooting was very very shaky at best that's why it, it seemed like the lakers were going to have to fix that issue going into the season and as you see even in this season in the regular season they weren't a great three-point shooting team and in this off, in this postseason, and against the Suns, their three point shooting was abysmal. You look at all the teams in the NBA playoffs right now who are playing great basketball; their three point shooting is up there. The Bucks, three point shooting is up there, and, it's, and it helps Giannis's game to be even better because he has guys who can, who are threats from the outside. You look at Luka Doncic. Luka is playing great basketball because you understand that you can't help off a of Tim Hardaway or a Maxi Kleber or a Dorian. Uh, Finney Smith, you can't. You have to respect those guys because they will actually make you pay from three. But the Lakers don't have that. And when you lose AD and the focal point is going to be LeBron James playmaking for others, I mean, the game plan again for the Suns was pack the paint. You don't allow LeBron James to get to the paint. We're sending four bodies to you. We're going to make Marcus Morris. We're going to make Tim Hart. Oh, not Tim Hart. We're going to make KCP. We're going to make THT ma make you win the game. And as you can see, the Lakers just shot bad from three. They didn't get any help from Kyle Kuzma. And Kyle Kuzma, it's just another knock on how inconsistent he is. I understand that 
he's a player where he's he's a young I, I don't even think he's 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 a young player but he's getting to the edge now where like you've had playoff experience you should have paid you should have had a way better series Devin Booker had 47 points in this game he finished with more points in this game than Devin than Cal then Kyle Kuzma had in this entire series that's unacceptable unacceptable from all facets of the game and it's, it's just it's just a knock on how 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 poor the Lakers offense was and even their defense looked looked abysmal at times I think that the Lakers have a lot of questions in the offseason a lot of questions they got a lot of things that they have to, they have to fix up because I believe that the Lakers even with this team healthy it wasn't even a um a set it wasn't even set to say that they would win the championship because their offense is just too shaky it's just too shaky they have to get shooting and if they don't get shooting, they have to go find another third all-star. Because in this league right now, that is getting better by the day when all the young players that we're seeing, like Devin Booker, Trey Young, Luka, Jason Tatum, you need another all-star. Because LeBron's going to hit 37. AD's health has been questionable since he's joined this league. You got to get another guy who can help you help on a scoring load. I don't know how the Lakers are going to do it. I don't know if they can trust Schroeder and give him that amount of money. Schroeder looked good in the second half. He did. Game five, he was abysmal. So the question is, is he going to be an inconsistent player for these guys? Because right now, LeBron has two more years with the Lakers. No, I'm sorry. He has one more year with the Lakers. This is his third year. This is his third year. So next year is his fourth year. And the question now is, we got to figure out a way to win the championship. Because this is what you're playing for. You brought LeBron James not to just, you build him, you built in the first year. Now you're trying to win championships. So what are you going to do next? AD, do you build around AD? What are you going to do to make sure that he is able to stay healthy throughout the season? And I think that this offseason, this long offseason that the Lakers will have will help them along the way just to just rest. Because a lot of guys don't want to admit but or even talk about the fact that even when they won a championship in 2020, they had 73 days for an offseason. I mean, the average for an offseason in the NBA is 173. 173 from the from the last game that NBA teams play on average. So it's not excuses that I want to give out and start using, but it's stuff that we have to acknowledge. And I think that people need to acknowledge these things if you're going to go ahead and talk about this stuff. But I mean, the Lakers got beat. They got it's just tough, man, because now I'm looking on Twitter and it's like people are throwing out crazy narratives and crazy takes. And I understand that that's NBA Twitter, but it's just it's just very, very unfortunate, you know, uh, but I think that, that concludes the video for today. I, I'm having a headache. This is one of those days where I need to go sleep or I need a drink or something. I don't know. But again, if you guys enjoy the content, of course, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoy NBA content, go ahead and share the content with your friends. I have a lot of videos coming up next with the Eastern Conference predictions coming up and a lot of things on the way. Again, if you enjoy the content, subscribe. And until next time, stay on beat.